Well, let's just think about, you know, what he didn't know. Yeah. Okay. Darwin proposed an evolution of, you know, evolution by means of natural selection with no knowledge of genetics at all. He had a notion of blending inheritance. His notion of inheritance was completely wrong. And in fact, with his notion of inheritance without genetics, natural selection probably couldn't even proceed. So it wasn't until, you know, several decades later when Mendelian genetics came to the fore that we really had a material explanation for how natural selection can actually work. So Darwin was clearly wrong on that. And it was something, um, you know, his theory was viable despite his being wrong in that way, which was really amazing, actually. Yeah. Um, Darwin didn't know the details of developmental genetics, developmental biology, how DNA builds bodies. This is a very big field nowadays, and that's telling us a lot about how evolution worked. Um, Darwin didn't know the details of the fossil record that we know about today. He didn't know uh, about mass extinctions and the asteroids hitting the Earth and causing, you know, large die-outs of species all at once. You know, so all these were, you know, not known to him and did not make it into his, his theory. Um, and yet they are a big part of the way we look at evolution today. You know, but there are whole things that Darwin didn't know about. And science is a process. It's not a state of being. You know, so the, the kinds of things we work on in scientists today, if, if we are making progress, um, you know, many of them are likely to be wrong or modified to a great degree. You know, we're always very tentative with our ideas. And that's what's so remarkable about Darwin is that his ideas have really, many of them have stood the test of time.